Welcome back. It is currently Monday, June 29th, and I'm going to try to get up tomorrow. Uh, yes, I would like to be the Chapter 2 opening. Thank you. Let's send more teenagers to their doom. That sounds awesome. <laughs> hey, I should do it. I hate being charged with the gym equipment. Oh, because that stupid kid I'd meet in two days. Why can't the boys' class rep take care of the grunt work? <laughs> yeah! Freaking Kishinuma. Doesn't he know what a delicate flower I am? Most I've ever had to live before was chopsticks, and he expects me to lug around a Dan Pommel horse. Yep. Naomi, that is one pretty sight. Huh? What is? That isn't a good look for you. <laughs> that booty you got. What? Yours is way cuter. Yep. Oh, God. Mm. I would like to point out to any FBI or NSA officers that may be watching us that I am not trying to get any sort of titillation from this. I did not produce this game. I am just playing it, and I am not trying to. Don't arrest me, please. Mine's all plump like a duck's. What are you saying? You got what they call childbearing hips. It's a good thing. Plump, good. Like a duck? Uh, I don't know what duck asses look like, but... <laughs> I mean, soon you get older, you can pump out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. Oh, hooray. <laughs> I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. That is weird. <laughs> you do have a certainly motherly... <laughs> You do have a certain motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're so good with kids. Of course, I'm going to raise four children one day. Holy shit! Sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. What? She's talking about fucking Naomi. And we're back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Agreed. Man, that shit just like reaches up in your guts and just like fucking squeezes every time. Wasn't that Nakashima's voice? She was screaming. What do I do? Can't let anything happen to my students. Shinazaki, it's alright. Please, calm down. But you heard it too. Outside. Her voice. I think she's hyperventilating. I'd give her a paper bag to breathe into, but there aren't any around. I guess all I can do is try to calm her breathing before she passes out. It probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it just sounded like one. Maybe it's the building settling. I'll go check it out though and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. 
You two stay right here, okay? Sensei, <laughs> wait, don't leave us. Yeah, please don't. It's okay, Teach. I'll keep you out on Shinozaki. That guy seems shifty. Hmm, that's a good idea. Or better yet, how about I go take a look and you wait here? Not a chance. Until I can verify everyone's safety. I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Well, okay, I guess. Be careful, though. Why well, she'll be fine. Jeez. Can you Kishinuma? I'll be back in no time. No problem. I'm actually scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning. I can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. And I can't shake this dizziness or this nausea. I want to think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students. I can feel a newfound energy welling up from within me. I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part of a level-headed adult. <laughs> oh my gosh. Valor, thy name is Education. Well, wasn't this the basement? I remember this being a basement. Alright, what'd you say? No teachers allowed on the third floor. That's weird. Hmm. It's, it's a key, isn't it? Label reads 3A. Wait, what? Just. Oh, right. Different spaces. Different spaces for different places. home immediately, those who remain here. We'll go hungry and die of starvation. Oh, <laughs> that reminds me. Poor Monet is all alone. He must be one hungry kitty by now. Excessive number of bugs is how they scamp all around. Okay, awesome. Wait, why don't they eat the bugs? Serial kidnapping and murder. I think I read this one before. Yep, absconded and revealed. Each corpse is described. Page is torn. All right. I heard something about this once before. But I never realized just how horrific an incident it really was. Oh. The door slammed open. That was fantastic. This can only be good news. The door is now unlocked. Oh shit. Yeah, sensei. Well, if it isn't the teacher, I all by yourself. Decided to stop shaking and shivering with the other two back in 1A, did you? Have you know I heard one of my students screaming and I've set out to find her. So, I see. Regrettable. That won't be possible. This school is a, exists in a nexus where multiple dimensions overlap. 
It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she occupy different dimensions. Which means you two can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another. Or... Maybe you can find some means of traversing the planes as freely as they do. <laughs> Who did they? Consider this fair warning. Even if you should find the exact same spot from which your student scream emanated. She herself may not be there, and if she isn't, there's not a thing you can do about it. But I heard her voice. It is true that other children have been brought here quite recently. Children who, by all appearances, are indeed your students. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you'd assume here. They're fragmented. You say you heard a scream. That scream may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Or perhaps it occurred in another space many hours previous. It may even have been an echo from the future. Who's to say? That's kind of a crappy thought. With this phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when out of sync. Doesn't matter. I can't just ignore that agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Step aside. It wasn't even in your way. That was just uncalled for. Alright. <laughs> Fuck shits. Step aside. Why don't you fuck off, you damned corporate? Yep. <laughs> An earthquake. Oh, fuck. There were knives in there, too? That's fantastic. Um... Yeah, okay, she just told you she's gonna go get the student. Anyway, in all the world, the most vile, untrustworthy individuals at the mall are his school teachers. Uh, not true. School teachers' children... Uh, but they are also preceded by the children of religious leaders. Uh, think rabbis and priests, preachers, those sorts of folks. Um, secondly, she told you she was going to find a student. So I don't know what's so vile or untrustworthy about that, you piece of shit. Anyway, where were we? All you care about is your own well-being. You're not worried about your students. You're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. Ow! You're all the same, every last one of you. And I don't want to be taken in by your lies anymore. That's a broad generalization, man. Taken in? When you see a problem among your kids, you just keep your distance. Because you sure wouldn't want to get involved. Have to keep up appearances, right? You just pick out the problem children and ship away at them little by little until they either drop out or get expelled. You're not disciplining, you're just raging at them. 
that's not I've never met a teacher who actually cared about her students not once you're full of shit All of your students are destined to starve to death in these godforsaken halls. If they don't succumb to depression and kill themselves first. There's no other possible outcome. They'll all die meaningless deaths, just like I did. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. Is he pressing down on it? What a shithead. Any last words, bitch? I'll tell them to your students as they end their miserable lives. Spare me. Come again? Spare my students. What was that? Please, I don't care what happens to me. Just please, spare their lives. They're not your children. You're not their mother. Are you still really pretending to care about them? Filthy liar. Did you know? When you die in this accursed place, you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity. And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable, unimaginable. And you're going to feel the pain every moment of every day forevermore. That sucks. Ask me to spare you. It's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, and I'll consider sparing your life. No! Go fuck yourself! Don't you have my hair on their heads, you hear me? You're a one stubborn little bitch. Fucks. Oh. Think my rib cage is broken. It feels like someone's pushing this cabinet down on top of me with superhuman force. I'm losing consciousness. Well, if you're passed out, can you really feel any pain? So, if she dies when she passes out, then technically she wouldn't feel any pain, right? Aw, uh, does it hurt? Poor baby. Your corpse will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. That's fucked up. Everybody. Live. No! I love you all. Aww. Meanwhile, yeah, please, let's not make it so cheerful. Well, another earthquake.
I think it's over. Oh, what's wrong? Why is he so freaked out? I just got a really bad feeling. We gotta search for Miss Yui. What if she comes back while we're gone and we miss each other along the way? Okay, we're going. Alright, alright already. But if we don't have any luck finding her, let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? Totally. How about we leave her a note? Shinozaki, do you have anything I could write with? I have a pen. Hmm. No paper, huh? Well, there's always a teacher's desk. Miss Yu, we've got to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. How's that? What? You're kind of sloppy. It's your fault we have to leave her message at all, you know. Uh, in trouble? Yes, she is. But she might be in trouble. Okay, okay. Just don't cry. We'll find her. Man. You want to talk about someone willing to avoid responsibility? It's like, eh. Don't cry. Eh. Okay, what's in here? Shelves are long black hairs. That is like, gross. But let's have something to spank it to. Yes, I know she went up. Hey, it's a bucket. Strange yellow fluid congealing inside the rusted bucket. Can pee congeal? Because I feel like it's pee. Hey, buddy. How'd Dolphin One get you? I'll figure it out. No problem. Uh, I guess I'll go up. Because I know that's the direction I saw she went. And this looks different. Hmm. No teachers allowed there. Now it's broken, so presumably we are allowed. Mm hmm. Is this where all the bugs are skittering about? Nope. That's the human hair again. Oh, there we go. There are the bugs, which presumably we could eat. Fix of the wall. It can't be open. It's cold in here. Not to mention dark and scary. Shinozaki. Do you have any more of those candles? Like the one you lit during the ghost story? Yeah. How about we light one up and take a quick breather? You have uh, some heat, right? Yeah. This candle land really is kind of warm. Yeah, it is. Yep. I'm saving. Oh, save, yes. Okay. So that'll do it for now. Catch you guys on the flip. Bye.